morning everyone um, welcome to vinyasa one with me here is me uh, 60 minutes uh, so we're gonna uh, straight away start on your mats uh, today I'm gonna do it a little bit uh, different so I'm gonna um, come a bit close to, your, to the the phone to give you a cl more clear uh, ins instructions rather than uh, more on my mat so I'm gonna spend I'm gonna focus on my instructions more than on my mat so so you can focus more on your practice so don't try to uh, to look around and try to listen as closely and as specifically as possible all right if you're ready just come on your mat if you're ready come on your mat and sit tall have your eyes closed And begin to slow down the breath and find the length of your spine without straining your neck, your shoulders. Let your inhalation bring the sensation of energy. The sense, the sense of opening. Allow your exhalation to bring you to that place of stillness. Bring you to that place of sanctuary where it's just you and your breath. Place your right hand on your heart and your left hand on your belly. Breathe into your hands and observe this wonderful and important connection to the breath. From these two places in our body, we send out our gratitude. Suddenly we say thank you for our presence on our mats. And we dedicate our practice. Importantly, set an intention for your practice today and try and stay with the intention throughout the class. Keeping your eyes closed, release the hands now. Now keeping your eyes closed, raise your arms up to the sky, inhale. As you exhale, turn the body to the right and bring your hands down. Looking over your right shoulder. Other side, raise your arms up to the sky again, inhale. As you exhale, turn to the left, bring your hands down. Look over your left shoulder. Now inhale again, raise your arms up to the sky. As you exhale, bring your hands behind you onto the floor. Press into the floor, lift your heart, lengthen the front of the body. Again, without straining your shoulders, without straining your neck. Come back to center. And come to your child's pose, an active child's pose. Walk your arms as far as they're willing to go towards the front of your mat. Keeping your elbows off the floor. Keeping the sense of energy and invigoration throughout the body. And from there, we're going to come to the cat's pose. Round your back like a ball and stay in your cat's pose. Now, from the cat's pose, Come to a neutral position, not cow pose. Come to a neutral position without sagging the belly down. Just here. A look to the front, raise your right arm up to the front, palm facing down, left leg to the back, toes pointing down. Lift your heart, inhale, palm facing up, lighten the fingers, exhale, bring the elbow and the knee to touch. 
inhale lengthen exhale again inhale lengthen exhale bring the elbow to the knee and stay there for three breaths two three inhale lengthen again now listen up bend your right elbow to the side left knee to the side also and then inhale lengthen onto the front again and then exhale take your right hand around your back grab your left foot as you press into your hand with the left foot lift your heart higher look forward don't look up just look forward maintain balance another breath now keep the integrity of the core as you really slowly come down and not just let go of it. Now come back to your cat's pose around your back. Right back to the neutral position, we do the same exact thing on the other side. Take the left arm to the front, the right leg to the back. Your palm is facing down. Alright, lift your heart, inhale, palm facing up, lighten the fingers. So exhale, bring your elbow and the knee to touch. Lengthen or inhale. Exhale, elbow and knee to touch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to the knee. Stay there for three breaths. Two. Well, lengthen or inhale. Now listen up. Bend your left elbow to the side. Right knee to the side also. Stay there. Two. Well, lengthen out again, inhale up, reach your left arm around your back, grab your right foot, press the foot into your right hand, lift your heart a little higher. Stay with the stimulation of the core and then very slowly release, indicating that you're still with your core around your back, like a cat. Stay in your cat's pose. Now, stay in your cat's pose. Tuck your back toes under, lift the knees one or two inches of the floor. And then from there, push your buttocks back towards your heels without dropping your knees down to the mat. Keep the belly toned. When you lift the buttocks up, inhale, like downward dog, and then move forward to plank. Exhale. So again, lift the buttocks up like downward dog, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, sit the buttocks back to your heels. Now again, lift the buttocks up, like downward dog, inhale, exhale, move forward to plank. Last one, buttocks up, inhale, exhale, bend the knees, sit back onto your heels. Inhale, buttocks up, exhale, move to plank position. Stay in your plank position for five breaths. If you feel stronger this morning, come high on your tippy toes or point your toes back without dropping the belly down. So pressing the top of your feet down to the mat. And you'll take it back to downward facing dog. Find your breath. All right, bring the feet together, lift the heels up high, raise your right leg up. Exhale, step forward. Left foot follow to the forward. And then look up, exhale, head down. Inhale, stand up. Raise your arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands by your side. Right, prepare for your sun salutation. Bring the feet together, raise your arms up to the sky, inhale, lighten your arms as you raise them up. Exhale, fold for hands on the mat. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, step or jump back. Take your vinyasa or just go into plank for a moment and then downward dog. Right, the rest up dog, down dog. Right, bring your feet together, in downward dog. Bring your feet together, lift the heels up high. Inhale, raise your right leg up. Exhale, bring the right knee to the nose. Inhale, leg up. Open the hip up, bend the knee, scorpion tail. Sit there for a breath. Ground the left heel down. Then inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the knee to the nose. Look to your left. Turn your back heel inwards. Send your right leg up, left and up. Back to three-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do that on the other side. Ready, heels up. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left knee to the nose. Inhale, leg up. Open the hip up, bend the knee. Drop the, bring your left foot behind you in a scorpion tail. Ground the right heel into the mat. Now, three-legged dog, inhale. 
exhale, bring the left knee to the nose, look to your right, turn your right heel inwards and send your left leg up, right hand up to the sky. Inhale, three-legged dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Find your breath. Heels up, look up. Inhale, step, walk or jump to the front. Exhale, head down, fold. Inhale, raise your arms up to the sky. Exhale, arms by your side, Samasthiti here. Number two. Inhale, raise your arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward, hands on the floor. Inhale, lift your heart, look forward. Exhale, vinyasa through. Let's just go back to downward facing dog. If you want to take it easy this morning. The rest, everybody on downward dog. Right, bring your feet together, heels up. Ready, right leg up, inhale. Exhale, right knee to touch your right elbow or touch the, the wrist. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, knee to the nose. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, knee to the left elbow. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe. The other side. Feet together, left leg up, inhale. Exhale, left knee to the left elbow. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, knee to the nose. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, knee to the right elbow. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, downward dog, find your breath. Now, anytime during the class, feel free to have a rest, your child's voice, any, anytime the uh, time calls for it, just go for it, right? All right, then downward dog, feet together, look up. Inhale, step, walk, or jump to the front. Exhale, head down, fall. Inhale, raise your arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, Samasiddhi arms by your side. Last one. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward, hands on the floor. Bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, lift your heart, look up. Exhale, step back or jump back. Take your vinyasa, chaturanga, or go into downward dog. Up dog, inhale. Everybody now in downward dog. Find your breath. Breathe. 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 Right, bring your feet together. Lift the heels up high. Inhale, raise your right leg up. Exhale, step forward. Warrior two. Stay in warrior two. Find your breath here. Palm facing up. Bend the elbows to cactus position, chin mudra. Keep the elbows up high. Don't drop the elbows down. Now straighten the front leg. Lift the front toes. Bend your left knee. Touch your front toes. Go low. Inhale, back to warrior two. Hands in prayer. Exhale, go. Inhale back to our two. Hands across the shoulders. Exhale, go lower. Here, stay here for two breaths. One, two, and then propel your body to the front. Take it down to the floor. Downward facing dog. Or vinyasa through. Right, let's move on to the other side. Feet together, heels up. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step forward. Wall two. Open your arms. Bend the elbows, get the elbows up high. Straighten the front leg, lift the front toes up. Bend your right knee. Exhale, touch the front toes. Inhale, back to row two. Hands in prayer. Exhale, sing down low. Inhale, back to row two. Hands across the shoulders. Exhale, go low. Stay here for two breaths. One. Two. And propel your body to the front. Downward facing dog. Find your breath. Or vinyasa through if you wish. Alright, feet together. Lift the heels up. Raise your right leg up. Inhale. Exhale, step forward. Resting warrior. Extend your arms to the front. Palm facing up. And from there, keep your right arm to the front. Left arm back. Lift your heart. Inhale. Exhale, change hands. Inhale again, change hands. Exhale, change hands. Last one, inhale. Exhale, change hands. Now change hands one more time. Send your left arm around your back. Drop the back heel down to the floor. Right palm facing up. One breath here. Exhale, right hand down, triangle pose. Look up. Another breath here. Exhale, look down to the floor. Bend the right knee. Hand outside of your right foot. Lean forward and lift 
your left foot off the floor. Now keep the left hand behind you. See if you can lighten your right arm, maintain the core structure, or send your right hand to your heart. Those who can go further, right hand around your back to grab your left foot. Lift your heart. Two. One, slowly release both hands onto the floor. Downward dog or vinyasa fiddle. Check in with the breath, people. We'll bring the feet together, lift the heels up high, left side, left leg up, inhale. Exhale, step forward, resting warrior. Keep your left arm to the front, right arm back. Lift your heart, inhale. Exhale, change hands. Inhale. Exhale, change hands. Inhale. Exhale, change hands. Stay there. And then change hands one more time. Right arm around your back. Drop your back heel down to the floor. Left palm facing up. Look up. Keep your right arm around your back. Look down to the floor. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, straighten the front leg, triangle pose. Left hand on the floor. But keep the right hand behind you. Another breath. Exhale, look down to the floor. Bend your left knee. Look your left hand outside of the left foot. Lean forward and lift the right leg off the floor. Keep your eyes locked to one spot. And don't look around. Now keep your right arm around the back. Lighten the left hand. Or take the same option you have taken the other side. Reaching up to the back with the left hand. Another breath there. And really slowly bend your left knee, both hands on the floor. Take it back, downward facing dog. Or vinyasa fiddle. Alright, bring the feet together. Lift the heels up high. Raise your right leg up, inhale. Step forward, come, come to warrior number one. Raise your arms up, palm facing back. Right. Flatten your back foot, bend the right knee. Now lean forward. Cross your wrist, inhale, pull the arms back, exhale, open your heart. Inhale, cross, pull, exhale, open. Last one, inhale, cross, exhale, pull, exhale, open. Stay here, lift the front heel off the floor, look up to the sky. Stay strong in your back leg. Two. One, now look to the front. Flatten your front foot, raise your arms up, right palm facing back, left palm facing down. Take a breath, like inhale, exhale, round your back like a cat's pose, cross your hands and bind if you can, otherwise stay here, right? Or just there. Then from there, lift your left leg up, inhale, exhale, cross your leg. Don't worry about the bind, just cross, squeeze into the inner thighs. Those who can go further, elbow to the knee. Stay there, three breath. Two. One, release the left leg back. Slowly step back and then release your hands on the floor. Take it back, downward dog or vinyasa fiddle. Now for those who couldn't do any of the heart postures, just take as much modifications as you need to, right? Let's, I like to invite people to work with the body that you have now. Right, bring the feet, lift the heels up, raise your left leg up, inhale. Exhale, step forward, come to warrior two. Ah, uh, warrior one, sorry. Arms up, wrist guy, palm facing back, external rotation of the shoulders. Now lean forward, cross your hands, pull the arms back, exhale, open. Inhale, cross, pull the arms back, exhale, open. Last one, cross, pull. Open, stay here, stay strong here. Lift the front heel of the floor. Look up. Right, look to the front. Flatten the front foot. Raise your arms up. Left hand facing back, right hand facing down. Cross your arm, press to the elbows and take a bind. Lean forward, lift the right knee. High towards the chest and exhale cross, maybe just here, 
you can take the bind now. Those take the bind. Those who can go further, elbow and the knee to touch. Sit into the hips. Squeeze into the inner thighs. Two. One. Come up. Slowly step your right leg back. Release your hands on the floor. Down or dog. Or bring yourself through. Find your breath. Right, bring your feet together. Heels up. Ready to raise your right leg up. Inhale. Exhale, step forward. Look forward. Inhale here. Exhale, straighten the front leg, head down. Inhale, bend the knee. Look forward. Exhale, head down. Again, inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, head down. Now stay here. Lift the hands on the floor and reach your arms to the back. Or if you're, if you're losing the balance, keep the hands on the floor. Reaching back. That's two. One. Now keep your hands reaching back, palm facing down. Bring your hands down to the floor. Now walk the hands slightly forward. Lean forward. Drag that left foot in. Bend that left knee towards your chest. Those who can go further, press into the fingers. Lift that left foot off the floor. That's two. One, lean forward, look to the front. Lift your heart, inhale. Send the left foot to the front, bring the left heel down to the floor. So you can take the pistol squat, take it, right? The rest with me here. Left heel down, both hands onto your thigh, your right thigh. Sit back, look forward. Bruce in the squat, maybe that, right? Two. And one, step the left leg back, downward facing dog, or vinyasa through, guys. Always checking with the breath. Right, other side, left leg up, inhale. Exhale, step forward. Keep the left knee bent, hands on the floor, look forward, inhale. Exhale, straighten the leg, head down. Inhale, bend the knee, look forward. Exhale, straighten the leg, head down. Inhale, bend the knee, look forward. Exhale, straighten the leg, head down. Now stay here or lift the hands off the floor and allow your arms to go to the back. That's two. One, keep your arms to the back. Put the hands down to the floor. Walk the hands slightly forward. Drag the right foot in. Stay there or lift. The left foot off the floor. Uh, right foot off the floor. Keep pushing through the left leg to the front. Right foot off the floor. So you're strong in the core. Two. One. Now lean forward. Send the right foot to the front. Drop the right heel down. Left knee bend. Hands on your left thigh. Or take the pistol squat. If you have done that on the other side. Another breath. Inhale, exhale, step back. Take a vinyasa or down facing dog. Find your breath. Now bring the feet together, heels up. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step forward. Left knee onto the mat. Take a breath there. Point the back toes, the back, raise your arms up and cross your wrists again. Inhale, exhale, sink. Inhale, move back, cross your hands. Exhale, sink down low. Inhale, cross your hands. Exhale, sink, sink down low. Take a breath here. Inhale only. Exhale, turn the body to the left. Right hand up, left hand down. I'll take another variation here. Two. One. Both hands up. Inhale. Exhale. Hands on the floor. And move your cat. <laughs> Tuck the back toes under. Take a breath. Out. Inhale. Exhale. Sit back. Lift the front toes up. Inhale. Bend the knee. Exhale. Sit back again. Last one. Inhale. Move forward. 
Exhale, sit back, lift the front toes up, pull the belly in, head down, fall. Those who have the split, why not? Take it. Set up your arms anywhere you wish, but just keep them on the floor. Maintain the integrity of the core, people, don't lose that. Two. One, take it back to downward facing dog. Find your breath. Or vinyasa. Or let's do that on the other side. Hit together, heels up. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale, step forward. Right knee into the mat. Untuck your back toes. Raise your arms up, inhale, cross. The wrist, move back a little bit. Exhale, sing low. Inhale, cross. Exhale, sing low. Inhale, cross. Exhale, sing low. Take a breath here only. Inhale. Exhale, take the body to the right. Left arm up. Right hand down. Breathe. I'll take the same variation. If you have picked up your right foot on the other side, do it here also. Another breath there. Both arms up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, hands on the floor. Take a breath and look forward, inhale. Exhale, straighten the front leg, sit back, head down. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, sit back, straighten the front leg. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, sit back, straighten the front leg. Head down. Stay here or take that split. Couple more breaths there. And release, downward facing dog. Or vinyasa through. Oh, we have one more set to go. Oh, bring your feet together. Lift the heels up. Right leg up, inhale. Now very slowly step the right foot outside of your right hand. Look forward. Take a breath here, inhale. Now those who can go further, you can go down, right? Otherwise, just stay where you are. Inhale, exhale, go down. Inhale, lift, exhale, go down. Inhale, lift, exhale, go down. Bring your forearms onto the mat. Now keep the left forearm on the mat. Those here, bring the left forearm. Look to your right, drop the left knee down to the floor. Right hand, push the right knee away from you. That's the simplest version. Next version, right arm around your back, grab your left foot. Other version, right arm under your right leg. Grab the left foot, pull the foot into the button. Lean to the left and raise your right leg up. But you don't have to do all that. Stay where you are, stay. Connected to the breath and maintain balance to one. All right. Put the foot down. I'll bring the left knee off the floor. Or a little step forward with your left foot. Keep the hips up. Tuck your right shoulder under your right knee. Stay here or take your aeroplane position or bind. If you have kundinyasana B, go for it and arm balance. Right? Stay there for a couple more breaths. One more breath. Release. Take it back to down dog or vinyasa through. Alright, one more set to go, people. And we go for a rest. Heels up. Left leg up, inhale. Slowly step the left foot outside of the left hand. Stay there. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bring the chest low to the ground. Inhale, push away from the floor. Exhale, go low. Inhale, push away from the floor. Exhale, go low, and then drop the elbows down to the floor. Drop the right knee down to the floor. Keep the right elbow down. Left hand, push your left knee away from you. Or reach around your back, grab your right foot. Those so you can go further, left hand under the left leg. Grab the right foot. Pull the foot into the button. Lean to the right. Raise the left leg up. Two. One more breath. And release vinyasa through your downward facing dog. Let's check in with the breath, guys. Breathe. We are halfway there. 
Right, let's take three big breaths here. Inhale, open the mouth. <sighs> Inhale, open the mouth and let it go. <sighs> Last one. Inhale, open the mouth. Ha! <sighs> bring the feet together. Lift the heels up high. Raise. Look. Sorry. Raise. Look up to the front. Lift your heart. Inhale. Exhale. Step. Walk or jump to the front. Exhale. Head down forward. Inhale, stand up. Raise your arms. Exhale, arms by your side. Now let's take your three pose. Walk mm -hmm. Shift your weight to your right foot. Lift the left heel to the inner thigh. Draw the belly in. Now take the arms to the front. Palm facing away from each other. Cross your wrist and press into the palms. Mm -hmm. The palms press. Raise your arms up. Inhale. Stay here or exhale, move back. Stay there for three, two, one. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, hands on your hips. Left hand to the knee, toe or heel. If you can straighten the leg up. Inhale, lift the knee up. Exhale, open the knee up. Right hand in cactus position. Take a breath here, inhale. Stay here. Those who are keen to join me. Exhale, come halfway down. Now I challenge you for those who go went to halfway down, let go of your left hand off your left leg. Two. One, come back to the center, inhale. Exhale, both hands on the hips, left knee to the front. Take a breath and inhale. Exhale, straighten the front, pull everything inwards. Two. One, dancer's pose, left, hand, left leg back, catch your left foot with the left hand. Right hand up, inhale, exhale, lean forward. Breathe, press the left foot into the hand. That's two. One, slowly release, shake it out. Other side, feet together, shift your weight to your left foot. Bring the right heel into the left inner thigh. Press it in. Go tall. Cross your hands the other way. Press into the hands, palms. Bend the elbows to get the space through with the hip. Reach up, inhale, stay here. Or exhale, lean back. If you have the flexibility and the ability, but you don't have to maintain where you are, finding balance is more important than going for the goal. Two, one, inhale up, exhale, release your hands to your hips. Right hand to the knee, toe or heel, if you can straighten the leg up, but it doesn't matter here. Left hand, bend, the breath of inhale, maintain balance, or the strong today, halfway down. And let's see if you can let go of the right hand. Two, one, come back to center. Bring your right leg to the front, both hands on the hips. Pull everything inwards, pull the belly into the spine, your thigh into the hip socket, straighten the front leg. Down to pose, right leg back, catch your right foot with your right hand. Left hand to the front, palm facing up. Take a breath out, inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, lean forward, press your right foot into the hand. Lengthen the front of the body. Breathe. Two. And one. Slowly release. Step right to the top of your mat if you're not already there. Bring the feet together. Take a moment to check in with your breath before we continue. Arms by your side. Ready. Raise your arms up to the sky. Bend the knees. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward, hands on the floor. Inhale, lift your heart, look forward. Exhale, step or jump back, take your vinyasa, or just be happy in downward dog, that's fine. Everybody now in downward facing dog. Feet together, lift the heels up high. Raise your right leg up, inhale. Exhale, step forward. Walk your hands to the left and to the center of the mat. With the feet parallel to each other. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. One more time. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift your heart. 
exhale, fold forward and play around this pose here you are in the pause so you can either catch your ankles or big toes or arms around your back those who are keen to go into a tripod headstand go for it guys but just be mindful of the things around you or maybe a cat around you <laughs> breathe breathe now lift the legs up in the air slowly bring the feet down to the floor everybody lift the head up look up inhale now as you exhale turn the heels inwards and then sink into the left side one move the heel to sink to the right side exhale inhale lift exhale to the left inhale lift exhale to the right one more time inhale lift exhale to the left stay here reach out or take a bind if that's your work for those who feel really strong and feel really challenged both hands up on each side of your right leg pull the left elbow back lift the right leg up Otherwise, just be happy here. Two. I'll go to the other side. Inhale. Exhale. Sink. There. Or there. Or maybe just bind. Find a breath. And then look to the front of the mat. Take a vinyasa or downward facing dog. Find your breath. All right, bring the feet together, heels up. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee to the nose. Inhale, leg up. Open the hip up, bend the knee into a scorpion tail. Or, if you know what wild thing first, go for it. Drop the right foot behind you. Open your heart. Take a breath there too. One, three, leg a dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, find your breath. On my side to go, heels up, left leg up, inhale. Exhale, knee to the nose. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, open the hip, bend the knee. Hang the foot behind you, or drop the foot down to the floor. Lift your heart. That's two. One, three legged dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, or vinyasa throw. Alright, bring the feet together, right leg up, inhale, exhale, step forward, raise your right arm up to the sky, inhale, exhale, bring it to the front, inhale, right hand up, exhale, bring it to the front, one more time, inhale, hand up, exhale, bring it to the front, push through the right foot, come high into the left, left fingertips, or maybe send both arms out to the front, two, one hands in prayer left elbow outside of your right knee no binding please stay, stay stay here with me we're gonna take a breath inhale look down to the floor as you exhale send the left leg across behind if your right leg keep the foot on the floor or maybe if you're feeling stronger lift the left foot on the floor just touch the left knee at the back of your right leg two one slowly step the left leg back hands on the floor pause inhale take it back to plank stay in your plank or go through a vinyasa now everybody downward facing dog on your breath right bring your feet together heels up left leg up inhale exhale step forward inhale left hand up to the front after the ceiling exhale left arm to the front Left arm up, inhale, exhale, bring it to the front. Last one, left hand up, inhale, exhale, bring it to the front. Come high into your right fingertips. Push through the left foot, stay strong, or send both arms out to the front. Two, one. The hands in prayer, right elbow outside of the left knee. Look down to the floor and bring your right leg across behind your left leg. Stay there, or lift your right foot on the floor, just touch your right knee to the back of your left leg. Maintain the integrity of the core, guys. Just one more breath. 
Slowly step the right foot back, hands on the floor, pause, tone the belly, step back, plank position, stay in your plank or go through your vinyasa. Find your breath. You okay, slow things down in a moment. Rubbing the feet together, heels up. Right leg up, inhale. Exhale, knee to the nose. Right leg up, inhale. Now exhale, bring the right leg to a pigeon. Right leg on knee. Left knee, touch the back of your right ankle. On your toes. See this left foot? Take the left foot in and come out, hands on the hips. Right, lift your heart, raise your arms up, inhale, exhale, bend your elbows, you've done this already, right? Again, inhale, lengthen, exhale, open, inhale, lengthen, exhale, open, stay here or there, stay here, just again, go further, take your right arm over your left arm, bind, and then take the head, hand back. That's two. And one. Inhale back to center. Exhale, release. Drop the right hand down to the floor. And then both hands down. Send the left leg back. Lift your heart. Inhale. Exhale, head down. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Stay here. Stay strong and active in the left leg. Two. One. Inhale, come up. Walk the hands with the line of the hips and exhale back. Stay strong. Those who can go further, take another variation of your own if you have one. I know this flight C people, this time. Take a full one legged pigeon, king pigeon, if you have that. Two. One more breath. And release, lean to the right, bring the left foot across your right knee. Inhale, raise your arm up, right hand up, exhale, take the twist. Left hand behind you. Now take a moment here to pause, find your breath. Close your eyes, calm the mind. Return to the rhythm of the breath. And release. Take the left leg back, right leg back, downward dog. Vinyasa is optional. Right, other side, heels up. Left leg up, inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, leg up, exhale, left leg to pigeon. Bring the right knee to touch your left ankle. Point your toes, bring the right foot in a little bit. Hands here. Right. If you can't find your balance, just stay here, press into the top of the button. The rest, raise your arms up, inhale across, exhale, open. Inhale, hands up, exhale, open. Inhale, hands up, exhale, open. Stay here. If you can go further again, cross down, left arm on top of your right arm. Take your guard position. There, and then bend back. Maintain the structure of the core. Press down onto the tops of your feet. Two. One. In control, inhale, come up. Exhale, left hand down. Both hands down. Take your right leg further back to your full pigeon, hands by your side. Little heart, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Again, inhale, belly in, chest up. Exhale, fold. Last one, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Stay here. Maintain strength in the right leg. Two. One. Push away from the floor. Inhale. Walk the fingers towards the line of the hips. Lengthen the spine. Stay there. Or do the same option you took the other side. Ekapada Raja I know it's a mouthful. <laughs> Couple of breaths there. One more breath. And release. Lean to the left, to the right leg to the front. Cross the right foot over the left knee. 
Raise your left arm up, inhale. Exhale, let's take that twist. Right hand behind you. Or if you have a bind, go for it. And then, close your eyes. Slow down the breath. Calm down the mind. It's the nature of a twist. Another breath here. And release. Take it back to downward facing dog or vinyasa throw. Now, I need everybody to come into a plank position. Pull the belly in. In five counts, I'm going to ask you to go low, belly down to the floor, right? One, two, three, four, and five. Bring the belly down to the floor. Rest your arms, rest your hip, maybe cross your hands, rest your hip onto your forearms, lying flat onto your belly. If you have issues in the front of your body, then you're gonna just sit up this way. I'll give you another variation, right? Maybe if you maybe if you are, are expecting, then just sit here, right? And those on the floor, belly on the floor. You're gonna take your hands in chaturanga position. Don't don't lift up. So just lift the chest up, belly in, chest up, lengthen more to the front of the body. Right. And then through the legs. Those sitting here like me, hands behind you, lift your heart this way. Right. Take three breaths there. Those on the floor, see if you can lift the hands off the mat and bring the hands slightly forward. Two more breaths there, lift your so you're like here. One more breath. Over. Okay. And release. Right, from the floor. Bring the feet together. Reach your right arm to the front. Walk the right fingers to the front of the mat. Bend your right knee. Reach your left hand around your back. Grab your right foot. Lift your heart. Inhale. Right palm facing up. Left leg off the floor. For those who are here with me, keep the left hand back, right hand over the head, and then take your right hand back, like so. Lift your heart. And use your head to gently push that right elbow back. Two. One, release. Change at the side. Reach your right arm around your back, left arm to the front. Catch the left foot with your right hand. Lift your heart. Rest here with me. Hand up, exhale. Use your head to push the left hand back. Two. One, release. Right, lift your in crow, uh, in cobra position or upward dog. Inhale. Tuck the back toes under. Exhale, sit back, find your child's pose. Take a breath and inhale. Take another round of vinyasa if you wish. Otherwise, just sit up and straighten the legs up to the front. And that's it. Be happy with that. Right? Right, from there, come to your butterfly position. Hands behind you. Lean forward. Engage the buttocks a little bit. Move forward to the front. Of course, those again go further. Go for it, people. Go all the way down. Rest. Let's stay here with me. Keep the spine long. Remember, nothing needs to be anything. The only thing here is your breath. Inhale, exhale, open your legs out wide. Wiggle the seat bones back. Same thing like we did that side. Hands behind you, lift your heart. Inhale, exhale, move forward. Or oh, lean forward, 
lighten the front of the body also try to make it heavy strong in your legs surrender your weight to gravity but maintain the structure of the core never lose it hands there or there rest your feet stay here for a couple more breaths and inhale come up hands inside lift bring the feet together take a boat pose before we lie down to the floor lean back for those who are expecting maybe feet apart just here or there you can manage the rest legs up or bend the knee if you bend the knee pull the knee close to the chest two well, raise your right leg up straighten the left leg down and lie back on the floor catch your leg take a breath and inhale Exhale, lift the head up, walk the hands higher. If you feel stronger this morning, engage the core a little bit stronger, hands off. Two. Well, slowly, slowly change legs, left leg up. Catch your left leg with your hands. Lower your right leg down really slowly. Keep the integrity of the core. Head up. Maybe hands off your left leg. Two. Have more breath there. And slowly release. Let's take a happy baby pose. Rock your body side to side. Hug the knees to your chest. Raise the legs up to the ceiling. Let's come to an inversion. If you're not taking any more inversion this morning, just raise the legs up to the ceiling and that's it. Hands on the floor. Rest can take your shoulder stand, go for it. Take your shoulder stand or a headstand if you're keen to practice a headstand this morning. Now those who adjust the leg, legs up to the ceiling, the back flat onto the mat. Keep your right leg up and lower the left leg down without touching the floor. Shoulder stand, keep your right leg up. Take the left foot over your hip. Or maybe just bend the left knee towards your forehead. Head stand, try and take your left knee towards your chest if that's possible. Otherwise, just maintain balance, keep both legs up. Now change legs. Everybody, both legs up in the air. Head stand, stand, stay there unless you're ready to come to your child's pose. Shoulder stand, bring both feet over the head. Those on your back, take your happy baby pose again. Head stand, if you are still in head stand, please come down to your child's pose and stay in your child's pose. Those with the feet over the head, prepare for a fish pose. Those in a happy baby, hug both knees to your chest and then join us in fish pose. Right? But the rest, unroll the spine down to the floor, legs down to the front. Press your elbows down to the floor. Lift your heart, take the head back. If you prefer your hands to be under your buttocks, make sure your palms are you see now, step your hand on top of the other, extend the arms, palm facing down, press the buttocks into the hands, lift your heart, chin up. Stay there. Those in the child's pose, please sit up for a moment and stay sitting up, close your eyes and wait for the rest. 
the rest in fish pose, come up from the pose, arms up, turn your head left and right, hug the knees to your chest and lift the head up to the knees, give it a wonderful squeeze there, cross your ankles, either you join people in a sitting position or take one more round of vinyasa if you wish, if you still have more juice left, take one more round of vinyasa and then jump through and sit down on the mat. Now everybody sit down, sit up straight, close your eyes, take a breath and inhale with your eyes closed. As you exhale, get a sense of letting go, surrender, feel the tension away, Leave, allow the tension to move away from the body, just observe the space, the lightness that the practice has provided you. Stay with the rhythm of the breath. If you wish to continue in this position in meditation, I welcome you to do so. The rest anytime you're ready, take it back down to Shavasana and have your rest. Wherever you are in the pose, soften the point in between your eyebrows and just notice how that relaxes you. Allow the shoulders to fall back as far as they possibly can. Rose on the floor, with each exhalation, allow your lower back to descend to the mat. Letting go of your arms, letting go of your legs. Those in meditation stay in your place, hold your space, rest on the floor, move the fingers, move your toes. Unless you want to stay there for a bit longer. Now bring your feet together, arms over the head, take a good stretch there, and hug the knees to your chest. Roll over to the right side. And let's join the others, sit up. Close your eyes. Now join your palms to the heart center and bow your head down to say thank you to yourself for this wonderful practice we have together in this morning. Call upon your kindness, your compassion and apply them into all of the actions that you're going to take from now on. The clarity of the mind and the openness of the heart carry us through to the end of this journey. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Um, I had fun. <laughs> I don't know about you. Uh, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And um, yeah, check back again in who's coming up next. We have full schedule in the uh, IG website. Or see you later at 5.30 in my Facebook for Gong Bath. Bye-bye.